Hello everyone, it's Robin, the Artsy Bohemian, coming to you from my studio in Los Angeles, California. Today is day five, I think. <laughs> I'm losing track of time. Um, so today's a really cute project. It's very, it's easy to do. It did take me a while to find the right components, which are these buttons. And so I'm going to show you how to make this really adorable Christmas tree. You could probably make it as a, you know, as a charm for a necklace if you wanted or an ornament, obviously. I'm doing it in earthy tones because I have tons of buttons, but they all are mother of pearl, kind of old mother of pearl. And the, the only buttons that I have that are, that do have color are too ornate for this. The buttons need to be kind of flat. I tried making a red one, but these are the only uh, red buttons that I had that were flat. All the other ones were really pretty and really old and ornate. So um, so you can do it in any color you want. So you're going to need some wire and um, some wire cutters and some buttons. And you can see how I laid them out because you want them in, you want them to go from small to, from big to small. And I used 13 on this. That seems to be a good size. So I think they're super cute. It's kind of primitive looking. So you're gonna take some wire. I've distressed or antiqued this wire. It's just some brass wire. And you're gonna want, I don't know, about 10 inches or so. Let's see how, if I'm right. No, not, not quite 10 inches, maybe nine inches. That'll give you plenty to play with. And then just cut it. are and then you're going to bend it my daughter is singing we I just can't seem to find a time where I can be have quiet in my studio so enjoy the show she's a music major so you're going to take your chain nose and bend it kind of flat like this. So you have some wire that looks like this. And then you're just going to start stringing your beads. I mean your buttons. Actually, I'm going to do the stem first. So you're going to do, I mean, the trunk. So get some about four smaller beads, or I keep saying beads, buttons, because I use beads all the time. and then start <clears throat> the large to the small. Oh, these ones have really big. This probably still work that out. I'm going to have to do this one.
See how cute? So when you get to the top, you can twist it. Like that. And this is more wire than I need, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to make an eye on the top with some round nose pliers. And then I'm going to use the neck where I twisted it to add a little um, fluff of fabric or lace or something. So I'm going to get my round nose pliers and bend it here. And then bring the wire over, move my pliers towards me, and then wrap the rest around. And it gives you this kind of nice lumpy, you could leave it like that if you wanted to, it still looks cute. The wire I used is a 22 gauge wire and it's brass. So I cut, I took some fabric, some of my favorite fabric it has these little roses on it. And I'm gonna just see how this looks. Also have this rusted the dye that I did when I dyed some of the fibers with the rust. And some one of these might look kind of cute. Also have a little fluff of cheesecloth. So just kind of play around and see what you want to put there. I might just wind up putting lace, um, you know, some something like this. That's too big. <laughs> Sorry, silk might work. I was thinking I would put something around the neck and then hang um, lace or some trim around the eye. get the idea. This is why it takes me forever to do stuff because I keep tr trying new things. I think I like the cheesecloth like that. Like that's cute.
That's it, guys. This is another one of the 12 Days of Christmas projects, something that you can make fairly quickly as long as you have the buttons and in any color that you want. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for all the tutorials that I list on my YouTube channel, and I will see you tomorrow. One last thing, I added a cute little button. I think that makes it look a lot cuter and kind of pulled together. You could also put a star if you wanted to, a little star um, sequin. But I kind of wanted to keep it primitive looking, so I really like the way that came out. Much better.